All right, so pretty big announcement from Twitch this morning. They are finally fully allowing simulcasting. And if you know from myself, I've been doing it for quite a while. They never really enforced the rules before, but now that they are fully allowing it, I figured a lot more people may be more comfortable doing it. So I wanted to show how I do my simulcasting. Um, I usually do it between Twitch and YouTube. It's a very simple process. I'm gonna show you how to do it directly from OBS. If you wanna use a platform like Restream, that's entirely up to you. I don't like doing that because to get all the full features, you have to pay for it. And if you have a good enough computer, especially if your computer is a stream computer, you have a lot of flexibility if you have a dedicated stream computer. But even if you are playing and streaming on the same computer, depending on your settings, we'll go over that later. Um, this is a very, very good option as well. Before we hop into this, make sure you have OBS updated to the latest version and let's get to it. So as I mentioned, make sure you have OBS updated to the latest version. What you're gonna do now is we're actually gonna completely close out of OBS and we're gonna download a plugin called OBS Multiple RTMP. This, is, this was originally made for the VTuber community, which is why a lot of it is in Japanese. But um, if you go to this page, I will leave the link in the description for this. This is the release page for their GitHub. Unfortunately, the OBS page hasn't been updated in quite a while, but they update the GitHub page all the time. You're going to scroll down here and grab the version that's for you. If you're on Windows, do the installer instead of the zip. It just makes the installation process much easier. Now, once that's done installing, go ahead and launch the installer. It's going to ask you uh, if you want to trust this program. We're going to trust it, so we're going to press more info and then run anyway. Go ahead and let that thing install. It's very quick. And now if we go ahead and launch OBS again, so now that's done, you can see that we have the new plugin. It's right up here. First though, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have our, our main one set up. So we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to our stream. And as you can see, I have my YouTube here set up. If we go to my output, I have my streaming settings set up. So I'm using Nvidia's NVENC. I'm streaming at 10,000 kilobytes per second. That's one of the benefits of YouTube. And I am doing 1080 by 60. 60 fps i'm not rescaling this like i normally would with twitch with twitch i usually rescale it to 720 my bit rate i cap it at 6000 um and still 60 fps now to add a new stream we're going to go ahead and do add a new target we're going to do our service we're going to call this one twitch and now we have to go ahead and do our url and our stream key so the URL is this one below. I will leave that in the description to make it a little bit easier for you. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our, our stream key. If you go to your Twitch settings, you will go ahead and go to this link. You can go into the dashboard, go to settings and stream. You'll grab your stream key from here. We're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste it here. So this next part about, is about what I was talking about before with Twitch and YouTube allowing different rates. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I send uh, I'm going to make sure I send Twitch the proper settings. So unfortunately to change these, you're going to have to do another NVENC. So I'm going to grab NVENC here. I'm going to change my resolution to 1280 by 720. I'm going to change my bit rate to 6,000 and we'll leave the rest right now. What we can also do is look at the output. These, I don't think you'll ever have to change unless you wanna use low latency mode. The rest of these will set as share from OBS or get from OBS. If you do go ahead and do all of your settings the same across all your platforms, you don't have to change any of these. Now, the other cool thing is that you can set specific scenes for a platform. So if you want to, you can set up all of your uh, YouTube alerts on a particular scene and have it go that way. But unfortunately, it's not going to change every time you do something. You can't set up two full separate lists that are linked together. So like your full cam and then going into your game or going into something else, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but I understand why it's probably pretty difficult to do. But if you wanted to set and send a particular scene to this service, you could do that here. 
And another important setting is we're gonna do sync start with OBS. This is what's gonna allow you to just press start stream on your main OBS settings and not have to start it up here every time. And you won't have to stop it every time either. Um, before this was a thing, it was very difficult to remember to stop both streams. And we're just gonna press okay. So now we have our Twitch here. If you want to, you can use docs to help get your Twitch chat in here. Um, all of your uh, Twitch settings, the edits. I've done a whole video on how to bring docs into OBS, but if we go ahead, I have a, a couple of them set up here. So if we do my Twitch chat, I got it set up right here. So I can have my Twitch chat and my YouTube chat side by side in OBS. Um, it does make life really easy, especially if you have OBS on a separate monitor and you like monitoring it while you're streaming, but you can set up a whole bunch of different docs. Again, I have a video for this. It's great. It really walks you through the process pretty easily. And that's mainly it. Honestly, this process is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. I really do like it. I use it often. My YouTube stuff doesn't really get watched nearly as much on the gaming side. Um, I'm kind of debating whether or not I should split off and just have a gaming channel that's specifically just for gaming content. Um, and then keeping all my streams on my main channel just for building computers. And every once in a while when I do a Lego build or something, those are pretty fun. But yeah, very straightforward, very easy to do. You can go ahead and set up as many targets as you want. So you can do Twitch, YouTube, Kick. If you set up the vertical plugin, um, you can also stream directly to things like TikTok as well. So set up as many of those as you'd like, and you can do some really cool things with it and get creative. So I do hope you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Slot Simon Step Back, and thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you do want to see any of my other videos relating to streaming, you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.